What the hell's happening to the red pill? Dude, we've... First, it started off with what? Where did it start with? It started off with that one dude who was cucking his wife out. Okay, and he was like, uh, F you from the bottom of my heart to Sidney Watson. That guy, mega cringe. He called himself the, the alpha or something like that. Okay, then it was the other dude who defrauded his father and had a whole wife that was 40-something years old telling everybody if a woman's over 23, she's valueless. Taking, a whole, taking in a whole single mother. Okay, that was him. Next, yeah, Donovan Sharp. Next. Uh, well, I don't know what the timeline of this shit was. Then you had Fresh fall in love with a chick from uh, Seeking, talking about she loves me for me. So she was twiddling around his pickle for a minute and he got sprung off her. Okay. Then had to ditch her because that was messing up the entire reputation of the podcast. Then you had, who was next after that? We're now getting to the point where, oh yeah, DJ Academics, uh, I'm the alpha male or whatever it was where he was screaming at two chicks. Then we got to Rolo, can't define a high value male. We're jumping around, we're jumping around definitions like we're mega woke. Okay. We look just like, I'm not even saying we, but this, this space that we're all operating under is starting to look radicalized and woke. And then what? I feel like I'm missing a couple, man. Uh, Sneeko had his cringe moments too. That's right. Who else? At least Nico's young. Like, I gave him a pass because the dude was like 20. He was just, he's hes very much an amplifier. Whoever he hangs around is what's going to come out in his personality. And, you know, he's a young dude, so it's fine. He's learning and he's changing rapidly. Uh, oh, yeah, Tate's then denounced RP. Oh, just Pearly, right. <laughs> She's getting lambasted right now. Uh, someone said Melanie <laughs> on MTR. Hey, man, let me put it to you guys simply like this. I'm sure just like every other, I guess, ideology or lifestyle or whatever else, you know, that has a lot of men gathering, for example, the red pill, was probably really solid in the beginning. The information was top notch. Then, then women came into the space marking the peak, marking the peak of RP. The, like, for example... Gamers, I know there's a lot of gamers in the chat, and this will translate over to, you know, this example well. Twitch TV used to be the shit. Twitch TV was where you would go to find sick gaming content. The browser discovered tab was absolutely solid. You can find some of the best players, period, for whatever. Okay. The issue with that was um, women then got invited into the space, and then it was... Overnight, man, it happened like immediately. What was it? Bathtubs and floaties. What do they call those? That was the whole bathtub meta. The pool meta. What was it? There's a name for that stupid shit. What is it called? I don't even know. Tub streams. Yeah, whatever the tub streams were. ASMR and bathtub streamers that were pushing pushing the limits. Hot tub streaming. Yeah, pushing the absolute limits. Yeah, of what you were allowed to do on Twitch. And they would rack up thousands because that's like the perfect vector to get famous for a woman that has absolutely no skills twitch tv horny teens horny incels horny gamers these guys haven't touched a woman their entire lives you just get on there with a push-up bra you suck at playing games you suck at everything even talking to the chat but as long as you have your boobs out you're good to go you're you're some chicks were even getting smashed on camera you remember that got a little weak slap on the wrist ban for one whole week, came back, did it again. You know what I mean? Double standards. So, okay. Now, the same shit has happened with the red pill. <sighs> or manosphere, or whatever the hell you want to call this shit. Essentially, the, the peak was marked the moment women came into the space and started regurgitating the shit men have been saying, as if they're having, like, groundbreaking conversation. And it's all a grift. Every single one of them. It's a joke, dude, to be taking uh, dating advice from a woman. As a man, like that's tenant number one, you should know. Don't ask a fish for fishing advice. I don't know how many times I've tell you guys. But if you look under the comment section or you just see a piece of content where a woman has a man's back or whatever, just just the fact that she has a man's back 
We must protect her. Queen energy. She's different. I just love the way she speaks up for men. It's like, bitch is making hella money hand over fist, just regurgitating what men have been saying. But she has a pair of tits. So the incels basically prop them up. Yeah, it's it's easy money for a chick to get into this space right now. Regurgitate whatever you want that a man has said before instantly will pop off. Just wear a push-up bra. Have a pretty face. Invite some guests. Shit on some chicks here and there. Some street walkers that have two brain cells to rub. Barely. Yeah. And then welcome, man. This is where we're at today. And <clears throat> now we're in like the death stage. This is the death stage of the red pill. What you're about to see is essentially now, because it's so mainstream and chicks are even able to do it, you have these weird fake alphas. Like this MLD dude. I don't even want to say much about him, but the dude's built like the fucking... What was that movie? He's built like the Leprechaun. You guys remember that movie? <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry, but if you don't have a six-pack, I can't take advice from you on dating and all this shit unless you have women around you, you're fit as fuck, you know how to fight. It just asks the ooze authenticity. This is why, this is why Tate gets respected so much. Because what he talks about, you can tell... It's backed by real world experience. Yeah, dude's built like this and shit. Like when he stood up and walked off, I was like, damn, that boy's got a little belly on him, eh? And that's why people like uh, Destiny can come into space and absolutely destroy all these people. Destroy them because the they have no experience in real life. And on top of that, they don't even hold the beliefs that they espouse to everybody else. It's not backed by experience. It's just some shit they read or some shit they're regurgitating. So it's easy to deconstruct someone's argument. Destiny can go on there all day and just shit on almost everybody from this side of the aisle. It's so simple, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the Leprechaun. This movie is scary as shit when I was a little kid. Got a fucking funny-ass walk and everything. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. All right, let's 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 get into the fucking crew. See what's happening. Here. Everyone does to some sort of degree, and it kind of forms us as who we are. Um, Let me know if you guys could hear it. And if there's any problems with the mic, let me turn up my volume. And I think, honestly, my my hot take here is I think women can deal with that a lot better most of the times than men can because men sure. suppress their feelings a lot more and women are a lot more allowed to explore them and like, go through them and figure them out. That's my hot take about Thank that. Thank you for your yeah. perspective. I think you did a great <laughs> job on that, Melina, and I appreciate you. Guste, um, bring I us would, home now, girl. <laughs> I would say in terms of damage. Well said. MLD, last hot, last take. I don't See, bro, no offense. I have to scroll up for you guys. But when you got a gut, why? Like, I, you can wear a nice two-piece to try to hide the mediocre physique, but nobody should be taking any advice from anybody regarding women if they got a mediocre physique. Sorry. I don't go get information from a doctor on how to be healthy if he's fucking morbidly obese. You have to look the part, bro. Sorry. I don't want a trauma uh b and cheeks <laughs> nice name been watching for been watching your cotton for a while now uh showing you support uh, mld got salty with me when on another show and i called him out uh his box bod and not holding frame when he got called out on this and insulted me like a girl yeah brother listen it's very important that you guys take up boxing or mma or something like that most of these guys don't most of you guys can't even handle themselves. <sighs> Again, part of the lure of Tate that I keep telling you and other guys that are really about it is that when you're in a room with guys like this and the Jack Murphys and whatever, just know you can shut their lights out at any moment. This ain't really a real man. That you can watch, you can drain the life from this so-called alpha male's eyes on demand. That makes you very confident, very self-assured, very relaxed in your energy. I mean, does it look like dude works on his body, does hard things, tests himself mentally and physically, leads by example, showing other men how to do it? I mean, when you're built like this, you're, base, you're worse than a dad bod. They think James Bond has a dad bod. This, this doesn't even quite like you take your shirt off, just take his, fa take his whole face away. Just neck down, show women this body this body, and you get zero matches. Penas, thanks, brother. SJW Trigger has tons of red pills slash the wall TikToks, and there is zero commentary. Trust me, you have plenty to work with, no interruptions. Let me let me bring that up right now before we get deep into this. 
What is it called again? SJW Triggered. Appreciate that, man. Oh, look at this. Subscribing. Thanks, bro. We're covering this. Awesome. If you guys got more channels like this, please let me know. We're going to watch some of the popular ones later. Yes. Damn, he's been at it for a while. Okay. Thanks, penis. <laughs> Your motherfucking name, dude. All right, let's go back to not bug sandwich. Very square. Square box build. Traumatized woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any history of trauma. I have dealt with those kind of fucking nutbags, and I don't ever want to deal with it ever again. I want to deal with a normal, mentally stable, healthy woman. So and you think you're normal? Exactly. In, in what sense? Well, do you think you have healthy habits? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Weren't you the same one who like fat shamed me like last week or so? I don't know. You think that's normal from a man, from a stranger to stranger to fat? So I've seen her before. She had TikToks. We've covered them and reacted to it. She seemed pretty based in her takes. And she was pretty reasonable from the parts I was skipping through and listening. He cornered his ass. Bean cheeks. At the pool, he was the only guy with a shirt on. And I told him to show us his money, muscles, game, and frame. He only got money from grifters. Oof. Shame somebody? I don't remember. Did I call you fat? Oh, don't okay. do that. Don't do that. You know where you were in the chat. <laughs> you knew you were in the chat. Don't do not do that on camera. I don't know. Don't do that. You don't, don't do that. Don't do that you because you were like... in the chat with your checkmark name doing that. What so was I saying? Up, listen, it's okay if you want to do those things, yeah. but own up to what you do. What was I saying? I mean, women are apparently like CEO of not taking accountability, but I mean, I guess you should change your pronouns because I'd say you're kind of in the same bracket when it comes to that. All right, I'll get right on that. And that's not masculine energy. Just masculine saying. energy. High value men. Remember, I told you that. Don't call say. people whores either. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I, yeah. women can't handle criticism. I took that like a champ. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. But I think you yourself, as a man, should probably work on that instead of saying that I don't want to traumatize women because it definitely shows. I that don't want to. I don't want to traumatize. Women. We don't want to traumatize Ooh. men either. That's the thing. So okay. that's why it's easier to go to Japan <laughs> and find the Konnichiwa type of girl because they're not going to debate with you. That's the problem. Yeah. That's right. They're just robotic female slaves in Japan. They have no personalities. It they shows. just say ko konnichiwa. Yeah, so me say all that shit that you like. It, it's it's evident that you're used to women who don't check you when you're being irrational thanks. and way out of place. Th thanks for the whole synopsis on the 37 years of my it life. It shows. You've, uh, well, you've age really here doesn't mean to a lot of people. It shows. Like you could be. My grandma's 80 years old and still drives like shit. It doesn't matter how old you are. So I would have to say. You sound like somebody who really looks down on women with the way that, I mean, you even made a whole hit piece on that. I think that's weird. I didn't make a hit piece on her. This guy, you should really. I sent a super chat at the end of this current podcast. Just wait till he leaves when Natalia reads it. I'm going to Miami to meet them next week. <laughs> Change your pronouns because I could see that's not your best, best trait to actually own up to what you do. And I think that's really disgusting. Why don't you sit in your masculine energy and maybe oh just apologize God. for what you said? I think that that's very masculine. I think that's a great way. And this is a perfect example of losing the room because women smell the fake alpha energy. Women never gang up like this on a guy that's actually attractive. Like they're far more lenient with a man that they respect and find attractive. There is zero. Yeah, they smell fear like sharks, man. I'm telling you like shark. His response, the way he's sitting, the way he looks everything they smell bitchness on him weak ass energy and they're going in for a kill and then you know, i'm surprised is she gonna jump in too so he's got one two and then the host woman on the other side just checking his ass freely no respect because i feel like number one in a war everyone thinks they're right right yes so i think that right now is a great opportunity for you to show that men can be masculine and have feelings <laughs> and can also regress and imagine that a woman's telling you, now's your opportunity to be a man. Ooh, we think back about what they said. Maybe in the moment you said it because you got excited or whatever, and you were just in, in this phase of yours. But I think sitting here in front of her, you're talking about that you want this wife and this submissive person and all of this, but where's your respect towards women? Yes. And don't you run like an entire male empowerment her. thing? Like, I think that's important that people look up to you. And you know what's funny? I actually subscribed to you prior to you doing that. I thought that was so out of pocket. And I was like, damn, wow. Like people like you, respectfully to anyone that's listening. This is why I stepped out of the red pill space because you guys are so quick to demonize women in the West. But mind you, 
All of these girls have been working since we were old enough to work. A lot of us have to retire our families. But instead of people seeing that, you guys demonize women for masculine traits when we're also working just like you. And we, I mean, I don't expect respect, but like there was no beef and it was so unnecessary. And I think. Ooh, wait. Uh, Sega, what's going on with Tribecast? Have you seen, haven't seen you there lately or any news? No news, brother. Sophie took it over. I'm moving to Eastern Europe. It's, I mean, that's accountability that some people should take, but to each their own. Just saying. What do you, so what are you upset that I called you fat? This is upset. I mean, this is cle upset. Clearly. This is addressing. Well, and why I think don't you want to own up to what you said, though? Why <laughs> what are you was denying? It? What was it that was said? And if anything, we're kind of built the same, which is funny, dude. We're like, I mean, come on, man. You Damn. DS. <laughs> God. Whew. I got to turn it on. My man is getting cooked. When a woman can tell you with confidence we're built the same, you're just a bitch, bro. Oh, my God. What is that? respect is in the depths of hell right now below the crust of earth god damn it dsj I used to watch mld but unsubscribe because i found him quite toxic i don't mean toxic masculinity bs i mean he just makes a lot of toxic comments you can't be sitting there acting like we're like oh and i'm like dude honestly that's so out of pocket in so many ways so, well how about this yeah, yeah I, this came out of left field but i don't know i'm like tuned in right now like <laughs> yeah well, i didn't know him, this was gonna happen on my up, show but here we go let him to what was said go. and let him clear so the room if we misinterpreted ladies hold on if we didn't right. understand let him so clear the just, air just, I'm, guys damn let me just host the show for a second <laughs> you're upset because why I think that, listen, criticism, sure, but be real and own up to whatever mistake you make. Because, yes. again, you are okay. leading whatever well, wait, What did are. I say? What is so upsetting? I don't, I don't get it. Why didn't you is, talk is to this, me? You is this chick supposed to be attractive? Why, why you, you do all this content and you comment all these things, but you don't remember what you do. But you have all the comments to be made. No, it's okay. I'll just endure this like I should in an abusive relationship. <laughs> Okay, so MLD, what do you recall Damn. this? That I'm still waiting for that. Like, I don't get it. What, what was said that made you so upset? This is a, this is the problem. So if, if we reverse the roles, if a woman addressed this, you'd be like, you're being not, emotional. not going to answer the question. There is nothing. I've why said don't it like five times. you answer the question? I'm asking the question. Well, what, why are you so mad? This is She's mad? already said it. Because what? what? what do you, she did. She's he already You're saying that he called you fat and you're addressing so it. So just take accountability for it. Like, okay. oh my bad, I was... Man, he's getting roasted. It's because probably just he's talking on about Hennessy. women that they have to do X, Y, and Z and all this, that, this, what they have to do. Yeah. And you shouldn't, you know, treat women bad. Nah, this is not a setup. This is just one woman addressing him, him completely failing frame, and the other woman just cooking his ass right on top. Uh, women have that herd mentality. So when they spot the weakness, it's game over. They're going to back each other. This is what happens. Hey, man, when you talk a lot of shit and then you pretend you didn't and then now there's nowhere to run, you just have to have a conversation face to face with this woman and your only retort is, well, what did I say? Well, what did I say? Well, why are you so upset? You're playing stupid. What did I do? You know, it's like when men get in an argument with their woman and they constantly do like, well, what did I do? What's happening? Come on, man. Badly because they have to submit to you and in Tokyo or whatever they're so feminine and this and that but it's here you come here and when there's women are making valid points and there are respectable women you come in the chat and you fat shame or yeah it would have went so much better if he said yeah I said it. I was in the comment I said you were overweight and I stand by my comment do you think you are not overweight something man I, just own up to your shit have like absolute zero uh, what would you say like, don't, don't try to backtrack whatsoever ownership of everything you say 100%. I said it, hey, it might not have been the best thing to say, but I believe it 100%. Do you disagree? And then that's good. The conversation just keeps going. And then you could still diffuse it with a joke. Make some fucking big bone joke. Yeah. Yeah, you're big boned. I should have rewarded it. Something, something, bro. Anything other than feigning you don't remember what you said. Or you go and make pieces about people or whatever it is that you want to do. At the end of the day, all that's being said is that, listen, if you're going to do those things, own up to it and then make your point about it. If you're going to do these things and you're not going to own up to it and you're then. then Plus, why are people calling uh, other people fat? Like that's what Pearl got roasted for, right? Pearl was saying something about women are overweight. Then Abba and Preach did an episode on her showing her at the beach or no. They were covering episode by this Brittany Venti, something like that. Absolutely cooked her ass. And then you got him over here calling women overweight when you're shaped like a fucking box, bro. <laughs> what is going on here? Like the irony, it doesn't, it doesn't hit you as you're typing this shit.
Like when you wake up in the morning before you put on your cheap two piece, like don't you see the fucking fat you're covering up? And like you're gonna go over there and like <laughs> project and type and tell all these chicks that they're one pound overweight. It's like, bro, fix yourself first, then you can stand on the pedestal and tell everybody else how to fucking live their life. Like really? And what's the point? You're just what bullying people? What's like, up with, like there's no integrity in what you stand on. Like you, nowadays, like you're running a space where men stand on principles and honor, but like you see someone's face and you completely dismiss the fact that that was disgusting. Like disgusting. We're not in a Call of Duty lobby. Like I don't know you. <laughs> it wasn't like I've said something to you. I said anything to you. I've stepped out of the combative space of the red pill stuff because of guys like you. And you, you prove my point to it. It's like I don't. Yeah, this is the the end stage for the red pill. It's where. The grifters and shit come out in full force. DSG, thanks, brother. Being a strong man is not being the unstoppable force. It's uh, really being the immovable object, having strong values that live by and never waver from. I don't know you. You don't have to do that. And that's. Yeah, honor, duty, and respect, something that's missing from a lot of men today. The honor and the duty part. Fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine if I said that you're not my preference. I've never attacked you before. Right. But I'm again, still waiting for what made you upset. It's okay. Right now, we're going to call it. you the delusional girl. All right. How about I just, <laughs> and we can just stick you to that? You want to just leave? Because this is retarded. No, I will. Why would you leave, you're, though? You're upset. Because Why would you leave? Wait, let's, you, let's... you literally are. You're an example Can for somebody men. tell me what you're I said that everybody's so men. upset about that it's I'm still waiting on? What was the example that, just to be clear? I'll do the three. Was it three? I'm pretty sure it was. Is this chick supposed to be attractive? One. Two. She's 40 pounds too heavy. Yep. X, Y, Z, something about weight. Uh, I wouldn't listen to her. Like, you just went on a rant. It was like... How do you know that that was him, though? Because it was his name with the check mark in the chat. Do you recall doing that? I guess so. So... Oh, I there it is. He folded. They got him to fold. Then and there, it was over. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. You you're, you're mad because I said you're 40 you pounds overweight? <laughs> I'm uh, on every chat. I'm in Fresh and Fit. You know how. Oh, come on, bro. And now the deflection. I'm on every chat, bro. I type shit all the time. I'm super chatting, just watching everybody's content. I don't fucking remember the shit I'm talking. It is when you're a streamer. You're in all okay. these chats. I did like six shows in the last six days. So just say sorry. So just own no, no, up no, to being wait, a piece of shit. Well, no, no. So I'm not. So first of all, I'm not a piece of shit. You don't so think don't that's piece of shit like behavior. That. Okay. Don't talk to me like that. All right. <laughs> Secondly. All right. I said what I said. I do think maybe you're 40 pounds overweight. Sure. So what's wrong with that? We can match uh, each other's energy. All I had to say was you need to like own up to your shit because it's weird that you would I just face me. Yeah, after like pulling teeth. Are you good? No, after you talking over me and freaking this trauma dumping the live that? on the show. I don't know show. what I said. You, you I don't pick know these what words said. and like you, you throw them on tweet. But if I, if I acted the way you act, you would demonize me. If I literally attacked you the way you attacked me, if I said the things that's, that's disrespectful, if another man said the shit that you said to me, oh, that's fighting words. But yet a woman says it to you, oh, she's being dramatic. She's masculine. She's emotional. Perfect. But I didn't call I, you any of those where's things. Where's the vein coming out of my neck that I'm so triggered right now that, oh, she's <laughs> mad. I think it's disgusting that you act the way. It's so, like, unattractive. Damn. Do you see how calm her energy is? She's just attacking him straight logic, too. We're just having a conversation. I'm addressing the issue. There's no vein. <laughs> I'm not even upset. And that dude is tomato red right now, folding. Vishnakanti, thank you, brother. I appreciate you so much. Uh, keep up the good work. Just want to show you appreciation. Love you, man. Thank you so much. Proactive and not. Oh yeah. Emotional damage. Bruh. Manly, but yet you sit here <laughs> and shame women. Oh, I can't wait to go back to Japan. I just think there again, you're leading a bunch of cows to follow you, and you're like, yeah, this is how men should act. That's not how men in my family and in my life act, and it's so unattractive that you think that's normal. So you are part of the problem in the West, is what I'm basically okay. saying. Okay. So let's try to put a silver lining on this thing. This came Fucking out. Christ. How should he have acted? <laughs> we walked in the green room. All you had to do was say, hey, no hard feelings. I was just on the little juice a little bit. I was tripping my bad. I would have been like, all right, bro. Like, all fairs were. That's fine. I would have dropped it. But the fact wow. that you walk in the room, you don't address it. You sit here. It's like awkward. And I'm like... This is how, again, you, people like you want women to submit to this garbage nonsense. And you're like, well, women are not submissive. Why would I submit to that type of activity? But again, this is showbiz. That's fine. You're totally entitled to that. I'll give you, a, you know. I didn't even know who oh she my. is when I was in the waiting room. That's the whole oh point. Oh, my God. Come on, bro. Stop the cap. <sighs> How do you go earlier from saying I may have said something? Yeah, obviously remembers talking shit about her, is in the room with her before they go live, 
too scared to address her, probably because the shit he said. Bruh. Uh, you, you are meant for the camera, my friend. You are something else. You don't know who she was when you were in the chat? No. It's, it's, no. In the it's camera? In the, in the back Ooh. room? No, it's okay. All right, well, how about this? Oh, Ooh. my God. Is there anything you, you would like to take back or apologize? Whatever you want. No, not after okay. being treated like that? Absolutely not. I'm not going to be talked down to by, like, some child Beta. that has Beta. no decency to communicate with me in a respectful Commun manner. It starts with you. What okay. man leads a relationship like that? You don't even She's have to be in right. general space. All right, you guys, you guys are better than me. You win. Cool. Next, next okay. question, Amazing. Please. Anyway, She's not talking uh, down to you. She's a you guys good? She's amazing. Amazing. You guys good? Oh my God, the tension in the room. Just look, look how a weak man makes everybody else uncomfortable because you can't defuse the situation. You guys, at least after the show, can hug it out. Well, I don't know if that's possible. Absolutely not. I'm not going to be talked down to by like some child that has. You don't know who she was when you were in the chat? Watch. No. It's, it's, no. In the it's camera? Fine. In the back room? No, it's okay. All right, well, how about this? Oh, my God. Is there anything you, you would like to take yourself. back or Good apologize? Job. Whatever you want. No, not after okay. being treated like that? Absolutely you not. See? I'm not going to be talked down to by, like, some child that, that has no decency to communicate with me in a respectful manner. It starts with you would like to yourself. take back Good or job. apologize? Whatever you want. Look, no, look. not after okay. being treated like that? Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm not going to be talked down to by, like, some child that, that has no decency to communicate with me in a respectful manner. Manner. It starts with you. What okay. man leads a relationship? How do you uh, have a conversation in a respectful manner when you tell a woman she's fat and is she even attractive? Like we started off, we started off guns blazing. <laughs> so keep that energy. That you don't even have to be in general right. space. Right, you guys, you guys are better than me. You win. Cool. Next, uh, next okay. question. Amazing. Please. Anyway, look at her uh, face. Look, look, look. You guys good? She's she's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. You guys good? All right. I had like three more topics to get to, but I'm sitting in the middle of this like, holy shit. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys, at least after the show, can hug it out. I don't know if that's possible. I got a Maybe hard eye at six. I told okay, you. Okay. We got to get you on. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this last segment. This came out of nowhere. This is live TV, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't expect that to happening, but I hope you guys genuinely can figure this out after the show. No hard feelings. Uh... <laughs> Doo doo thanks. Modern men really need to learn how to live by the five virtues of masculinity valor, strength, courage, leadership, respect. This dude's not employing any of those, bro. I understand where you're at. I understand where you're at. Um, Natalia, yeah. final super chats. Let's get some, some winners okay, and we'll we go, go to the happy ending and we got to wrap up for today. Okay, so I will go through. Uh, let's see where to start. I'll start with the one on my screen right here Bean Cheeks. I never. Oh, uh, Bean Cheeks. There he is. Sub to Angela or MLD, but Angela got my vote for the for the rose. <laughs> Typical red pill guys never take accountability for the same way. Only fans, girls in their future. Uh, then we have this one: being cheeks, have more enthusiasm reading the chat. I will. Uh, then we have full we Todd. Divorce is actually worse than average men. They end up lying um, in their cars and uh, sitting on Earth for men of forty. Self destruction. Sorry, it was. A little blurry when I took a picture. Uh, then we have a uh, redo. Uh, Hold on, Destiny. guys. Uh, as we're doing this, uh, production team, real quick. I know we're we're wrapping up. MLD literally has to go. He's yeah. not walking off. No. He said it's six o'clock. He needed to, to a hard out at six o'clock right now. Uh, MLD, final words before you run off. I don't want to go out like this. Anything you would like to say before you do? I got nothing to say. See, my point. <laughs> All right, brother. Sorry. Of course, bro. Joey, let's make sure he gets out safely. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> anyway. And we're the ones that get He's our period. Not guys, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, for the record, just so everyone's on the same page here, me and MLD are cool. We've got zero issues. He's always been super respectful. No, but at the same been. time, you and I are also very cool. We've also been very respectful together. This is on you guys to address publicly, privately, whatever. This is on you guys. Uh, for the record, wow. I had no clue that any of this was going to happen. It's great for TV, but not exactly what I wanted to happen with my show. <laughs> but such is life. Anyway, guys, sorry about that. If you were offended or enjoyed it. Cooked his ass. And then it got worse, apparently. I thought that was the end of it. The guy just had a bad show. He got called out, folded like a chump. But nope, it gets worse. Yes. If there's someone that's very, very young and goes into a marriage and has kids when they're like 18, 19, 20, a year into the relationship, it gets really, really abused. 
even though it might be rare from what you guys think it is. Uh, if it would happen what would you recommend for those people would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship keep going you can't divorce that's not a real thing even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive you gotta endure people are too you wanna stick into the relationship people are just I mean, look, people I'm, nowadays I'm be are just p- for anyone that might be in that situation bro ironic I, the, I mean look people I'm, now I shouldn't talk about his looks. Ah, I gotta resist. I've done enough. To be honest, are just p- for situation. anyone that might be in that situation. What would you recommend? Okay, you endure. Think, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll tell you what. It is such an extreme example that I can't give a prescription for what other people should do. What Jesus. about if two people Sorry. get married Sorry, to have a kid and then? What is such a brain dead argument to have here? Can you imagine having a mother, a sister? Any woman in your life that happens to be with another aunt cousin and she comes to you and says, you know, my man hit me and you go, baby, friend, cuz, mom, endure, sis, sis, please stop being a pussy. Just endure the shit. Endure, bro. Bruh. Perfect. This is the this is the conversation we're having. This is the red pill today. Clown show. Then the wife starts cheating. Do you think they should divorce? Absolutely. Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery, divorce is So you think the divorce is worse than physical abuse? No. For the children? For cheating, sorry. You cheating think that cheating is, is, is worse than physical, physical abuse? abuse? For the sorry. children, yes. Absolutely I, th- I think, I think I'm not going to say this is worse than Divorce is worse than the children. Yeah. So he's going on around explaining what he meant. Three days later. But I did say if there was one instance, because relationships every but every relationship has fights every relationship has ups and downs anybody who says otherwise is a liar okay so indoor <laughs> said the man who wouldn't even step on a treadmill for endurance training fuck man chat is cooking <laughs> there's conflict in relationships period uh, even the happiest couples in the world they have conflict mm-hmm. and anybody who denies that like i said they're just they're lying I think you just substituted or slipped something in there very slickly as if it made so your argument. Nobody said there aren't conflicts in relationship. That's not what's up. Nobody about. said there aren't fights in a relationship. Mm-hmm. What people said is just because those things exist doesn't mean you put your hands on your partner during one. Even once. Even once. I don't want a traumatized woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any history of trauma. I've dealt with those kind of fucking nutbags and I don't ever want to deal with it ever again i want to deal with a normal mentally stable healthy woman so you think you're normal exactly in, in what sense well do you think you have healthy habits yeah you do yeah some motherfuckers must really hate you because <laughs> after the last video i just got people sending me everything what did you say i punched a latina bitch in the face at rock on what's rock on it's a club in uh, japan he lives over there he was talking shit to some guy. I guess people just linking the group chats. He was talking shit to some guy, and the guy said to him, "Well, at least I've never been arrested for glassing a bitch." And he's like, "Yo, why are you so sensitive? You, you, are you gonna leave next?" So that's the, the MLD saying, "Like, why are you so sensitive? Why are you bringing that up?" And the guy says, "I'm not sensitive. Just giving back some." And then MLD says, "You act like that's the last bitch I'll smite on this planet." Do <laughs> <laughs> you have healthy habits? Yeah, I think it's very bizarre. That- you can't make this shit up. I don't know how they find this information on people, but it's fucking gold. You just can't. Someone accuses or says that you Bruh. bottled a woman in the face, and your response is, Bruh. that didn't happen. Your response is, are you being sensitive right now? Why are you bringing this up? Then it makes me really think you did do that shit. Also, how would you kill this for being so disgusting? Personally, I think a good old-fashioned bludgeoning is the way to go. Big old monkey wrench to the head. <laughs> what <laughs> some violent tendencies we got going on here from Mr. Indoor himself. And then he posts her picture in the group chat. I don't want a traumatized woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Time to beat Aya. I'm gonna beat Aya for not being pretty enough. What? Time to beat Aya for letting this happen. Whoa, bro. So that's dated 202418, then another one 37, and then 36. <sighs> Whoa. Listen, joking around in the chat with the guys, I get it. 
Um, this is now turned into a pattern. <laughs> I want to deal with a normal, mentally stable, healthy woman. I will glass a bitch with a champagne bottle for the honor of the group. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is happening? Bro, the only time I've heard men talk about women like this, they were like cut from the bug sandwich cloth. Like this is beta male attitude and behavior you feel like a man for physically dominating a woman like that wow if this happens i'll have so much fucking money i'm gonna i'm gonna glass like 17 inches. now mind you everything here i've been sent screen recordings for so none of it is like edited photo so this is him contacting somebody else about the incident in japan he goes and what you can see the video as he's scrolling. He says, hey, sorry to bother you about this. This guy attacked an innocent girl in Roppongi, and the police found him. I heard he did something to you. Is that true? And the woman in question, who's Japanese, she goes, yes, true. What him make for the girl? Which I think is her broken English. Yeah, I know he's a real scumbag. Is it true that he punched you in your face? And she says, yes. What happened with the other girl? And he says, are you sure it's definitely this guy? To which she replies. No way, bro. Is this his name? Hot, hot dude life on Instagram? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's fucking ironic for a name. That can't be his name. This, you, you couldn't write this shit. <gasps> That's his account. No fucking way, bro. Look at this. This is really him. <sighs> hot dude life. Why are you flexing your view count on your Instagram for YouTube? Oh, fuck. This is this is a bug's life right here. God damn. Let's check the build, bro. That ain't it, Chief. Okay. All right, dog. All right. Yes. Yes. As and so a couple other people from Japan contacted me and said that this guy was charged for bottling a woman in the face after she rejected him at a club. This went to court. He settled out of court. The woman has a scar across her face. She didn't want to come forward and bring this up, nor does she want to be involved because she's been traumatized by the experience since. I know. And people sent me messages to people that know her and people know of the incident. And all these are real. I made sure they sent me videos to show me they didn't fake no fucking DMs. And that was like a... a uh, Jose, I can't take Abba seriously. Did you see him dancing with Destiny's wife in the background while Destiny's just sitting there? Too many clowns in the Red Bull space. Not sure what you're talking about. Um, yeah, don't know what you're referencing. Club in Japan? Yeah, and he's also being charged for somebody else in Japan. So it's isn't the step one of Red Pill like lift? Step one, lift. Then everything else comes after that. Why am I bringing all this up? Listen, group chats are your business. Personally, I've never been in a group chat where folks brag about punching women in the face or take joy in talking about how they want to kill somebody that they saw in Bumble because they're ugly. Okay. But when this guy is getting on podcast talking about he wants a well-adjusted, normal woman who's not traumatized, I'm like, brother, do you hear yourself? Do you see the stuff that you be writing? And then you want to be on a podcast telling, telling women like, yo, listen, if you get hit once... Or more. Endure. Endure. This is the person telling you to endure. I told you you was putting some olive oil in some garlic. I, you were about to cook. Okay, so Abba, professional dancer, danced with Destiny's wife, a professional dancer. Nothing romantic, L super chat. Okay. Like, what am I reading, bro? Yo, look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the... Yo! Again, maybe that's how you guys talk in your group chats. Maybe I'm unaware, because I only spend my time in two group chats, 
and it it must be PG thirteen compared to some other people. I don't know. It's, so you guys, let me know in the comments. Is this normal for your grandma? Because if it is, then maybe I need to take all this shit. Shoe. What? Is it? I, I don't know. That's why I'm actually asking. I don't. I, I really don't know. I do not know. But considering he's been charged, he's being charged again. He's got enough cases against him. Or I like how they have a squeaky ass floor. They don't give a fuck about fixing it. It's just part of the show. I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> just zero fucks, man. Having fun, making content. That's all it is. It's very pure. It's very natural. I'm with it. A lot of these dudes in these spaces want to always claim they're not anti-woman. But every time you peer behind the curtain, every time you look into it, every time you find out who they really are when the cameras aren't on, it just don't sound good. I mean, it don't sound good on camera, but it sounds even worse behind closed doors. Mm. Nobody online is perfect. Nobody online. But anybody who's trying to convince you to stay in a situation probably doesn't have your best interests in mind. And I'll also say this. A lot of people from the last video we did on this topic were saying, oh, you took these guys out of context. with." Go play the full clip. Go play the full clip. You know, a lot of these guys want to sit on a podcast and the moment some woman says something radical like, oh, you know, I love to fleece men. They're quick. They get off their fucking seat to t put her in her place. You want to rob men of their money through divorce? That's Absolutely. Great. You should be calling these women out. Yeah. But then a dude sits beside you and says you should endure for getting beaten by your husband or beaten by your wife in a marriage. And all of a sudden, these same people get real quiet. They don't got much they to say. They don't get quiet. They just say that, hey, no, man, you, you took him out of context. Huh? Yeah. Listen, nah, nah, nah. Keep the same energy. Or, or they'd be like, you know, I don't know what to say. You know, I, I wouldn't know how to advise somebody. I wouldn't know. Well, what if a, a woman cheats on her husband? Divorce, divorce. All of a sudden, you got plenty of prescriptions, right? You think people can't work through some infidelity, but you think that people should stick around through physical beatings? I don't know. It's just bizarre to me when I hear some of this stuff. So sometimes it's not even what's said. Sometimes what's not said. Sometimes it's the change in your energy. You loud and proud when it comes to shaming. Uh, Ryan, hey, what's going on, brother? After these videos came, I stopped following them. It's really eye-opening that the Red Pill community is a bunch of BS, LOL, good stuff is coming to light. Yeah, it was bound to happen. Single moms and all this other stuff. But we talk about folks beating on women or beating on dudes. All of a sudden, you don't keep that same energy. That's when you look sus. Keep that same energy for everything else. If you care as much as you claim, that's all I'm saying. Keep going in the relationship. Keep going. You can't divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically yeah, abusive. You, you got to endure. People are too. You want to stick into the relationship? People are just. See, I mean, look, people I'm, nowadays I'm gonna be honest. are just. For situation. anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, you endure. Think, tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what. You are. It is such an extreme example that I can't give a prescription for what other people should do. What Jesus. about if. Three days later. Because I guess what they're trying to say is like, if a. If a man is continuously beating a woman in a relationship. We're talking about physical abuse, yeah. Right, so they're, they're trying to say that I'm saying that if a man is continuously beating a woman in a relationship that he that and she her should stay. should stay and endure the thing. That's not what I said at all. But I did say if there was one instance because... You didn't say that at all. And we could play the tape back. Play it. Oh, I think sometimes people get on podcasts and start talking. And there's what they say in their head or what they think and feel and then what they actually say outwardly. I think he's just doing some damage control now because I think he thinks his take is better. Where it's like, if you get hit once, then, you know, you can work things out. I'll be honest with you. I think someone in the chat saying they took the video out of context. How the fuck do you take this out of context? We just watched the entire conversation. How, the f how are people defending this guy? How are people in my chat defending this guy right now? What? The <laughs> once is too many times. Personal. Thoughts? Go on. You're cooking right now. Things can get heated. Words can be said. You can even maybe even punch a wall. When you put your hands on the other person, you cross a... And this is man or woman. If a woman starts hitting you, I don't even feel that different. God damn, did you put garlic in there? Why is that? You're cooking. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel that different. I think that's a, a very strong line you're crossing. And most of us who've never put our hands on a partner, okay, well, no, that's not a line you... I've been in a lot of arguments. Punching my girls never come up. What's up, Brighton? Maybe I don't have the experience, so that's why I'm turning to you. No. As a matter of fact, there's something that I told her when I was kids, and I told her, never scream at me. If you need some time to reflect the calm your spirits down because of something that I did, Please do so. If I ask you, there's something wrong, and I see there's something wrong, don't tell me, no, there's nothing. 
Tell me I don't want to talk about it now. And it was before the hit. Jesus Christ. Sydney, I just want to say thanks. I followed what you said and used my new relationship with God to drop video games and porn, focusing on my career and my body. Good shit, brother. <clears throat> Congrats. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Xander. And Jay-Z, Bo, I have to ask, you don't have a woman tied up in your basement, right? Legion would be shattered if you do. No. <laughs> she would only be tied up if she wanted to. There's some little freaks out here in the world. <laughs> no sex dungeons in my place. <laughs>